Hello everyone and today Apple finally released the iPadOS 15.6 to the public and it's available to all iPadOS 15 supported devices from the iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad 5th Gen and newer and it's available to everyone around the world at the exact same time. The update, uh, this particular update was not very big at all. It's about 348.8 megabytes on my iPad Air 3rd Gen and as far uh, as long as you're on the public version it should be a very small update and also if you're on the beta uh, it should be uh, it could be very large however if you're on ios 15 betas you won't see it as uh, you're on the uh, it's, this is the same ver same version as rc2 or release candidate 2 and also if you're on ios 16 betas you won't see it uh, as you're on the newer version so if you want to install it just uh, go to your settings, then go to general, then go to software update, then you should see it there. If you're still not seeing it, turn off automatic updates, then check for an update again, and you should see it once you check for an update. Up, and also, along with this, Apple also released iOS 15.6, watchOS 8.7, tvOS 15.6, macOS 12.5, and HomePod OS 15.6. All of those are available now. Let's take a look at the bell number, and we'll talk about what's new. So. We're going to settings, then go to general, then about. Bell numbers 19G71. And this particular update um, brings, um, um, and like I said, this is the same thing we had in RC2, a release candidate 2. So in this particular update, there's, uh, uh, there's no modem update. Uh, so you can see unfortunately I don't have a cellular so uh, if you're using Safari uh, like I said it's updated on 50.6 right here so we're going to settings then go to Safari then if you're going to clear history website data then tap on clear there's now there's in two options it says keep tabs or close tabs so there's a little change right here so I want to keep tabs anyways So there's um there's a new and the communication safety in screen time as well. So if you're going to screen time, so if you're, uh, also if you're setting up the iPhone for the very first time in fifteen point six, there's now communication safety. Unfortunately, there's no communication communication safety for me. So unfortunately, there's no communication safety for me. And also, um, there's um, also if we're going to the also not and so if we're going to settings, then go to accessibility, then voiceover, then braille. So if if someone is uh, is using and that uses a braille device, there should be some new options. There for penny keys and thumb keys. C2, C3 options and more. This is only available if you have a very input device. As you can see, I pair my keyboard already. And so if you, do, if you do use one, you should see the options now. Also, if you go into the home app and if someone tries to invite you or share home with you and you and don't recognize them, you can now report that invite us junk you can ignore it or cancel it where you could have before so that's something that's new in 15.6 in this update and you will need an invite for someone you don't know in order to do that also if someone is calling you internationally it will show and that show is available it's available for a handoff then give an option to report that has junk so if someone's calling you um you're gonna you don't recognize there's more junk options av available so if we're going to tv app then we go down to live sports um so that's already progressed to 15.6 you can now restart you'll be able to restart la that live sports game pause it or rewind it or fast forward it so that's something new in and just like you could uh, with the dvr so that's something they added in 15.6 so they it's great they added now they fix some issues so again if we are going to the same thing we're already we're already on braille and also fix an issue for braille so braille users that were having issues with maybe
Spread input devices slowing down when maybe you're navigating text and mail that has been resolved in this update. They also fix an issue with storage. So if we go into general, then iPad storage. You can see it's loading fine for me now. You can see. Um, and there was an issue for um, 15 point. Um, many of which the device was full, even though it wasn't this. So it wasn't this has been resolved with 15.6. If we're going to scroll down and you can see past many times system data it's more of a cash where kind of spider size and contract uh sorry <laughs> anyways so it's neither based of our overall usage of different apps however sometimes that would take up data however, and now it will show so here you see i'm only using uh, 29.29.4 gigabytes and also um they fix and also they uh something they fix in this update so if we're going to apple.com and uh it may revert it may revert back to the previous page so if you're going to on google.com you went to apple.com and jump back to google.com that should be resolved in this update They've also resolved an issue on I the iPad Mini 6 where they it may not detect a charger or USB C accessory. And now that's and that has been resolved in it. It will now charge properly. So unfortunately I don't have a iPad Mini 6. So So if you have a third party music app and your dock and maybe you'll go to reinstall the music app and and uh, it will actually replace what is, what's in the dock and and also apple has also updated the security updates as well and and also Uh, we'll go ahead and type in here. And here it is. So you can see some here. Um, so they updated the, uh, you can see Apple security updates. We'll scroll down and you can see all of them. So if you're going to iOS, um, to um, iOS 15.6 and iPad with 16, if we scroll down, then you can see some here. And so for update and then impact a user in a privileged network position can that can track a user's activity description. This issue was addressed by using HTTPS and sending information over the network. So that's pretty much um you know, and that's pretty uh so that's it and also for, as far as additional resolve issues unknown issues but that's one known issue that remains in it has to do with home and matter accessories so it uh, matter accessories are being pushed pretty big in i 16 maybe this will resolve in but for now uh apple says it's a known issue where the eyes device in initiates that to be logged in and have only the owner of a home an invited user and compare matter accessories that's, that's something that's not no bug issues that's not bug in this update as far as the phone uh, the ipad getting hot or overheating the stay nice and cool in the summer where it's very nice and when i when you play games on your ipad it will it will not overheat and but it will overheat a little bit as far as the ios 15 updates i think we'll have the ios 15.7 betas probably this week apple will release um the uh, one more and we'll have it on uh, something like ios 13.7 we have 40.8 this we could a 15.7 possibly a 15.8 i think 15.7 way better it's going to uh, 
Hope it'll be in late August at the next version something else comes out and out of August. Uh, that's typically we, we, why we see with the last version after the next version comes out. As far as iOS 16 public beta 2 and iOS 16 beta 4, we can expect those probably sometime next week. This is why we have last year with iOS 15 public betas. Excuse me. They waited about 14 days until the final one come out. So it was about June 30th when the public beta release for iOS 15. And the next one released on July 14th. So we could see a similar sort of release schedule. Where we could be another week or up. So until we see the... But either way, we can expect until mid-September. Where we have a final release, usually in mid September, um, along with the new iPhone 14, 14, um, 14 Plus, a larger size of the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max. So that's something we could expect, and and this time around. So that leads make sure you install iPadOS 15.6. Well, that's very stable. So yes, you can install it right now. As far as the performance, performance is pretty good. So if we're scrolling down right here, I have an iPad Air 3 and performance seems to be quite smooth if you're playing games and still not laggy. So that's everything about iPadOS 15.6. Anyways, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And, and anyways, so basically guys in the next video. Bye.